Welcome to the 3CX Quick Start Guide presented by Vox Telesis. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install 3CX on a Debian Linux system. Before we get started, you will need a server with a recent version of Debian Linux installed, root level user privileges, a network interface that is connected directly to the internet, and a static IP applied to that network interface. Let's get started by running some commands on our server. Before we enter these commands, be sure that you are logged in as root or a user that has root level access. The following commands can be found in the notes for this video. Enter this command to add the 3CX repository public key to your server. Enter this command to add the 3CX repository to your server's repository sources list. Now run the app get update command to update all of your software sources, including the 3CX sources we added in the previous step. Run the app get install net tools command to ensure that all networking tools are installed. Run the apt get install 3cx pbx command to install 3cx. Click OK to agree to the 3cx license agreement. Choose option 1 at the select how to run this tool prompt. 3cx will give you a URL. Go ahead and copy the URL. Please note that you will need to copy this exact URL into the address bar for the initial configuration. You cannot use a domain name pointed to this IP address for the initial configuration URL. Navigate to this exact URL. You will then be prompted to enter a license key. If you do not have a license key, you will need to click on the provided link and generate a new license key. Let's go ahead and click on the link to generate a new license key. You will be redirected to a page to help you generate a 3CX license key. Enter your information into the provided form fields. Click Submit and Download when finished. Go to your email box and open the verification email from 3CX. Click on the Verify Email link. You will be redirected to the email confirmation page. Go ahead and copy the license key provided by 3CX. Please note that a key is required if you ever need to rebuild the server in the future. It would be prudent to keep this license key somewhere safe like a password manager. Go back to your 3CX setup. Paste the license key into the form field and click Next. Fill in a username and password of your choosing into the Enter 3CX Management Console Credentials form fields. 3CX will try to detect your internet-facing IP address. If the IP address presented on the screen is correct, choose Yes and click Next. If the IP address is incorrect, choose No and manually enter your IP address. Select which type of public IP your server will use. For this example, we are using static IP. Please note that you can use a dynamic IP, but it is not recommended. Fox Telesa strongly recommends the use of a static IP. Dynamic IPs are more complex and can be significantly more difficult to troubleshoot. Enter a name to describe your 3CX instance. Select a domain group that matches your country. Select a preferred domain suffix that best represents your geographic region. On this screen, you can choose the port numbers your 3CX server will respond to. In most cases, you will keep these at their current default value. Select the default network adapter from the drop-down menu. Choose the adapter with the publicly facing IP address. Select the number of digits your extensions will have. Please note, you cannot change the number of digits after the 3CX server has been configured. In this example, we're going to be using three digits, but it might be better to go with four or five digits to make sure that you don't run out of available extensions. Enter the email address of the server administrator. Choose the time zone that best represents your geographic region. Go ahead and enter your chosen operator extension. In this example, we are using extension 100. Enter the operator's first and last name. Enter a valid email address for your operator. You do not need to change the operator and voicemail extension unless you have an issue with the default value. Choose the countries you will allow your users to call. This helps to prevent your PBX from being used to make costly unauthorized international calls. This form is asking what language you want for your system prompts. System prompts are the sound files played to communicate errors or instructions to your users. This is an example of a common system prompt. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. 
In most cases, the default standard English prompt set will work. If you're setting up the server for an area that doesn't speak English, your users might appreciate the system prompts in their native language. Once you click Finish, you will be presented with the Congratulations page. Take note of this information. You will need it to log into the 3CX dashboard. This is the URL for the 3CX dashboard. Go ahead and click on the link. You will be taken to the 3CX dashboard login. Enter your administrator credentials and click the Login button. Congratulations, you have successfully set up 3CX on a Debian server. In upcoming videos, we will be setting up extensions, provisioning phones, and configuring SIP trunking. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.